Center. Hey. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Alicio Morales, Chaplain for United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Mighty One, we thank you for your presence here today. We thank you for the young men of Kilo Company who came in as recruits and are leading as Marines. Through hard work and perseverance, they now join the family and ranks of the finest fighting force on earth. Within each and every one of them runs a warm fighting spirit of a Marine that never gives up, no matter the odds. We thank you for the friends and family who provided support through thoughts, prayers, and letters of encouragement. May they rejoice in this great celebration. We give you thanks for these drill instructors, for they have made Marines. Through the leadership, discipline, and sacrifice, they have instilled within each and every one of them the honor, courage, and commitment that is woven into the very fabric of this court. It is because of these drill instructors that these new Marines can now live out their great honor traditions to always be faithful, first to fight, and most ready when the nation is least ready. Mighty One, we thank you for your presence once again. And as always, we ask that you continue to bless this core and country, now and always. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Hi, sir. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Group Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp, approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits in the Midwest of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Kirkland L. Ventrella, Company Commander, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is First Lieutenant Nelson P. Sharks, Executive Officer, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain 
Lane for approval of Trace Pitching Second by Marie. Military Barrier, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de Corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, Determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 247 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies. Marines defend the ideals of grief, grit, and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine, with skilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our story. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. 
For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band of Parade 4 to the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Men who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Christopher A. Ashenhurst. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, distinguished guests. On behalf of the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General Morris, as well as the commanding officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Jones. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Company K. It is also my distinct pleasure to introduce our parade reviewing officer, Colonel Gideons, United States Marine Corps retired, whose impressive biography you will hear shortly. Sir, it is an honor to have you with us today. Now I'd like to take a few moments to talk about why I am so proud of the young men you've come to see graduate. But first, let me draw your attention to these impressive Marines wearing those distinctive green campaign covers. They certainly do not need an introduction from me, for we all know them as the legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. From the moment a recruit arrives aboard the depot, there is a drill instructor with them, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everywhere they go. For it is the drill instructor that is the heartbeat of what it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Of the thousands of people we will meet throughout our lives, let's be honest, most of them we will forget. But no Marine anywhere will ever forget the name, the face, or the gentle, loving voice of their drill instructor. Also, seated by the reviewing stands are the families of the officers and drill instructors of Kilo Company. These families know firsthand the time dedication and sacrifice it takes to make Marines, and we could not do it without their love and support. So if you would all please join me in a round of applause for the families of Kilo Company. We also know that making Marines is a team effort, and it all begins with the hardworking Marine Corps recruiters who are spread throughout this great country of ours. Our recruiters spend countless hours, day after day, seeking the finest young Americans for service in our Marine Corps. So ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters across this country. Now let me turn my attention back to the remarkable young men standing in this formation behind me. They are truly some of the best this country has to offer. When they arrived here, they were young and fit, 18 years old on average and already in better shape than most people their age. 99% of them are high school graduates. One of them already has a college degree. But furthermore, they displayed a courage and a commitment that most of their peers could never muster when they raised their right hand and swore that solemn oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. They come from every expanse of the globe, in this case, four different countries. Some are from as far away as Japan or the Philippines, Others are from just across the street here in San Diego. But it was a single goal that brought the 332 of them together, and that goal was to earn the title Marine. Three months ago, they embarked on the world's most demanding entry-level training when they got off those buses and stepped foot into our historic yellow footprints. And trust me, throughout their time here, they have undoubtedly been tested. They have been trained and evaluated in the attributes that make the Corps both unique and deadly. We have developed in each of them a physical and mental toughness that will never quit or give up, despite the odds. They've been indoctrinated in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, so that we create Marines of exemplary character, both at peace and at war. They've been trained in battlefield-tested war-fighting skills so that when this nation calls, its Marines always win. And thanks to the marksmanship instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion up in Camp Pendleton, when these Marines arrive on their objective, they are capable of delivering precision rifle fire at a pinpoint target at staggering distances out to 500 yards. 
Today, Weapon Seal Training Battalion is represented by Lance Corporal Henry, who is the marksmanship instructor for Platoon 3235. Outstanding job, Lance Corporal Henry. Finally, we created small unit leaders out of each of them, and we evaluated their ability to decide, act, and communicate with a bias for intelligent action, or that is what the future operating environment will demand. Now, in addition to all of that, I hope that yesterday you noticed a few other upgrades we've installed. They should have stood a little taller. They certainly looked a little leaner. They should have looked in the eye and said these strange phrases like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Moms and dads, it should be a long time before you have to tell one of these Marines to get a job or a haircut, and I assure you, they know how to clean up after themselves and make their beds. But it is the change within that we are the most proud of. For having been indoctrinated in our core values, and then by virtue of the fact that they are standing here today, means that they've embraced those values as their own. And so it's because of this journey they have made, because of the physical, mental, and moral development they've displayed, which was built upon the foundation that you all laid, that I am proud to present 332 young men who through their own blood, sweat, and tears can now and forever claim the title United States Marine. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment while I address our new Marines one last time. Good morning, Marines. Did you all hear that? That is pure pride. That is pride in themselves, pride in the title that they have earned. Now, Kilo Company, I know when you arrived here so many weeks ago, the last thing on your mind was graduation. You were probably thinking, what in the world have I gotten myself into? And how do I get them to stop yelling at me? But you stand here today as America's newest Marines, having accomplished something that most would never dare attempt. And when you get home this weekend, people are gonna look up to you. They're gonna be proud of you, as they should. And your friends are gonna ask you how you did. When they ask you that, I want you to take them for a walk down to your recruiting station and introduce them to your recruiters. Because I can promise you, your drill instructors would love to meet your friends. But remember that with this new title comes a great responsibility. For the strength of the Marine Corps is not found in any weapon system or piece of equipment. It is found in the warfighting spirit of the individual Marine. That is what matters most in combat, and that is what makes us different. This world is a dangerous and chaotic place, but that is why we have you. And the legacy of our Corps, not only being the first to fight, but to always win, belongs to you now for safekeeping. That eagle of an anchor that we handed you on top of the Reaper represents 247 years of all of the Marines that have gone before you. So be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you have accomplished. But remember who you now are and who you now represent. And always remember to protect what you've earned. So on behalf of the officers, the drill instructors, and all the support personnel here aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me be the first to wish you. Fair winds, following seas, Semper Fidelis Marines, welcome to our Corps. Now taking a position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Colonel Christopher Gideons, United States Marine Corps, retired. He's accompanied by Colonel Joseph W. Jones, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment.
Colonel Christopher D. Gideons, United States Marine Corps, retired. Colonel Christopher Gideons graduated with distinction from the Virginia Military Institute and was commissioned for the NROTC program in May 1991. After completing infantry officer course, he was designated an 0302 infantry officer. Colonel Gideons has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include rifle and platoon commander at 2nd Battalion, 9th Marine Regiment, company executive officer at 1st Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, battalion operations officer for 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, operations officer at 1st Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division, commanding officer for Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force, Crisis Response, Central Command, Deputy Director for Afghan Operational Planning Team, U.S. Special Operations Command, Chief of Staff for First Marine Expeditionary Force, and Assistant Division Commander for First Marine Division. Colonel Gideon's personal awards include the Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star with Combat V with one gold star in lieu of second award, the Combat Action Ribbon with one gold star in lieu of second award, and the Sea Service Deployment Ribbon with one silver star and four bronze stars in lieu of tenth award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Christopher Gideons.
for seven, DeAndre L. Washington.
itself. At this time, we would like to introduce you to the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Kirkland Elvin Trella. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Carlos A. Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company K. portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. The honor graduate for platoon 3,229 is Private First Class Damian Cordova Jr. from El Paso, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 3,230 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Rick S. Hazel from Alexandria, Louisiana. Lance Corporal Hazel is also the recipient of the Chesky Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for platoon 3231 is Private First Class Ivan Lopez Jr. from Bolingbrook, Illinois. The honor graduate for platoon 3233 is Private First Class Kamari Riley from Los Angeles, California. 
The honor graduate for platoon 3,234 is Private First Class Douglas M. Ramirez, Jr. from Houston, Texas. And the honor graduate for platoon 3,235 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Nicholas Hernandez Ramirez from Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company K. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout the food training. Go, 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 go